Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I was watching the Porto Sporting game, so that's why uh, we're kind of doing this a little bit slowly as of right now. But uh, what a game, by the way. These guys always fight at the end of it. But uh, yeah, we have the new uh, Kakaret, Kakaret card to review today. We'll just call him Kakaret. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'9", a high, high work rates, right footed, 3 star skills, 4 star weak foot. So I don't mind that he doesn't have the skill moves. The weak foot's definitely going to be very, very nice. He is a shorter player at five foot nine with, I believe, a lean body type. Let us see. Okay, so yeah, lean body type on the card. We are going to be giving him a shadow chemistry style to boost the pace and defense as much as possible because a card like this I mainly see being used uh, as one of three midfielders or one of two midfielders. Uh, in this case, we're going to be playing him in a 4-4-2 formation. So we're going to see what he's like pushing forward, coming back. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the outside foot shot trait, which, as you guys know, is really, really nice. But his base card stats for shooting is quite low um, at an 65 for finishing, 73 for shot power. Uh, base card stats for pace is set up nicely because the acceleration is higher than the sprint speed. So we're going to be working with 97 for acceleration with 92 for sprint speed. Shooting, again, is low, so... The main thing that you want to see with a car like this is going to be defensive capability since his attacking presence isn't that crazy, right? Uh, passing is pretty decent with the card with the weak foot, strong foot, 95, 90, 94. Uh, the passing stats is great considering the fact that his vision is also very high. Dribbling hopefully is actually really good in game because again, five foot nine, the lean body type should be perfectly fine to work with. Uh, defensive stats is set up nicely again for the shadow chemistry style. When we give him that shadow, it's going to be in the low high and mid-tier 90s. And then he also has some decent physical capabilities too at 94 for stamina. So the main thing with a card like this guy is obviously going to be the French links, right? French links, Leon links. Uh, they're releasing a lot of cards like this uh, for people who really want to use the meta, right? So, you know, the French cards in the League One. But uh, yeah, guys, we are going to be using this card in the 442 tactics. This is from uh, FIFA Analyst, so I'm going to be trying it out. I just searched the 442 tactic because it'll be good to review both of these cards in. But yeah, the only instruction I'm going to have on him is just cover center so we can kind of push forward, come back, all of that good stuff. So yeah, we'll see how he performs. Hopefully he's a beast. Yeah, for midfield, the dribbling's not too bad. Nice defending there. Being aggressive on the attack too, eh? Okay, okay. Collect that real quick. Pass it off. Oh, that would have been a good play there. I was trying to do a shot cancel there from the uh, finesse shot. Nice. He actually has some pretty decent animations for his tackles. Listen, I didn't get that situation there, but I'm really liking his uh, off the ball movement so far. His tracking there was fantastic the entire time. say man the lean body type with the dribbling it's working out fantastically uh the fact that he has the high high work rates to be able to push back and forward as much as he is right now is very very nice what's funny though is that with that shot you could definitely tell that uh he has the shooting stats that he has like we we worked a high percentage strike as much as possible but you can tell that it's low I pushed him out of position like crazy and he still tracked back really fast there. Oh, that was some really fast track back. That was sick. Nice, just have to hold that area there. Nice, wasn't even controlling him. Oh, you, dude, you know what I'm gonna say, guys? 
uh obviously that's a really hard you know strike to hit it is uh but if this card had shooting stats or base card stats he would actually be kind of nuts nice Oh, the dribbling was good there. See, that's the thing, right? Even when I co commit to Barella like crazy, his trackback is still sick. Nice little collect there. He didn't get the right commands, I guess. Oh. Oh, I got on the green, but even when he shot that in the green, it wasn't a great strike, eh? No, <laughs> the shooting. No, I can't. No, dude, I tried to do like a ball roll touch so that, I, that I'm aiming at the goal at a 45 and I just couldn't get the angle there. Well positioned again. Oh, nice try. Oh, yeah, I got the first one, but we're on after. No chance, my boy. No chance. Oh, he still got it. Oh, I just I, I couldn't make a pass there. Again, well positioned for the defending there. Easy, my boy. Easy, my boy. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. FIFA things? Okay, very nice. Great finish. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Kakaret card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, we gave him the Shadow Chemistry style because he wanted to work with his high, high work rates, five foot nine height, lean body type, testing out his dribbling, shooting in some cases, uh, passing and physicality. So here's what I will say about this card, guys, okay? He strikes off the meta criteria in the game in regards to really good work rates in the midfield, right? The high, high work rates is fantastic to work with. Uh, defensively, the card is actually really solid. The only thing that you will notice sometimes is lack of physical presence because obviously uh, when you have a card like, let's just say uh, the Ronaldo Sanchez card, right? Even just the rare gold version. This card at an average body type in the midfield position with physical stats like that is very nice to work with, right? When it comes to those physical engagements. Kakaret will get outbodied in some cases because of the fact that he is a lean body type player. But the lean body type also allows him to transition across the pitch really quickly, as well as have really good manual defending. Uh, there's a lot of cases where, you know, because of the high, high work rates, which is hugely met in the game this year, uh, his high, high work rates was really, really good in regards to like defending certain opportunities really nicely, getting involved in the attack from time to time because of the high attacking work rates. Um, dribbling with the card as a midfielder is really nice obviously as attackers you know you'd want them to be a little bit more responsive but um it was still very nice to work with i would say that the main thing about this card that obviously threw me off was the shooting right so the shooting being low is a nuisance because here's the thing right you could totally use a card like this as your more attacking oriented midfielder if you gave him like a hunter chemistry style or something but the shooting would still be low, right? So with a card like this, if I were to actually use him in a team, uh, again, Shadow Chemistry style would be the most ideal. I would keep him on state back while attacking as either my CDM or as my center mid, right? In the center mid formation for the 4-1-2-2, two, two, he would be the state back while attacking center mid while being able to still, you know, dribble nicely, pass the ball nicely, right? It's a very solid card. The main thing that threw me off was the shooting, right? The shooting being low um, is definitely annoying, but... 
The card is very nice to work with, obviously, for the League One links, the French links. Uh, apparently, there might be a Gwenduzi card coming out soon, so that's probably going to be the biggest comparison to make with a card like this, which might bring his price down, up. I'm not entirely too sure how that's going to work. Uh, but, yeah, that's the main thing, guys. He He's good at everything except for physical presence and shooting because he strikes off all the meta criteria to work with the stamina that he has and whatnot like it's a very nice card to put into a team if you kind of want to change it up in that cdm or center mid position so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video today oh before we leave we have to do a comparison because we actually have to see which cards actually exist in the league currently right so um if we go to center mid cdms and cams and we go to the actual league one Shua Mane is very expensive, uh, definitely not worth that price in my opinion, but uh, Awar is a little bit of a different card because he's way more versatile, you know, has really good shooting and stuff, you could play him in any position. Uh, Savinier I'm not crazy about personally. Um, Gwenduzi, Gwenduzi would be the, the main comparison I would say, but Gwenduzi is probably a little bit more physical oriented obviously because of Gwenduzi, he's six foot one with a high and average plus body type, right? So very nice to have at CDM if you want to be able to defend a little bit more with that body type. Uh, and then the other comparison would be Claude Maurice, which wouldn't be too crazy. Claude Maurice is like, okay, you know, nothing crazy special, but he's pretty decent for what it is. You know, it's just one of those types of cards, in my opinion. But yeah, there's not really any other comparison for. So for a card that currently exists on the market, I like this SBC for what it is. It's just a shame that they didn't boost his... Uh, shooting as much as possible because if they did honestly it would have been really really cool the only other option is benjamin andre if you guys kept that card <laughs> but uh that card is even different as well because of the three star three star capability it's really nice that this card actually has the four star weak foot right it's very important that he has it because again doesn't have the skill move but the four star weak foot to be able to use in the left areas or the right areas is going to be the main thing right so a card like this like i said guys you could probably use as a fullback maybe you know but it's mainly a center mid in that uh, or it's ma mainly a midfielder in that center mid or cdm position but it's just those two things man those two things are the only things that uh threw me off of the card but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys